So I was influenced when I was younger by my uncle who, um, who was into, into rare cars. He had a Ferrari 500 super fast. My first car was a Citroen Saxo VTR. It was the Boy Racer Essential. Went from the Saxo to a BMW 325Ci to a BMW Z4 3 litre petrol with ostrich leather seats, an Audi TT, then it went to a BMW 335D Touring and eventually up at the T5. Uh, I prefer the T5 to all the other cars I've owned. It's practical, it looks really cool. It's had a total mark stamped on it with, with my own. And um, yeah, it's just generally a real, a real head turner, I love it. I'd say I'm fairly uh, nomadic anyway. So the idea of sleeping in the back of the van and weekends and stuff like that kind of suited my lifestyle. So it was very much a, a lifestyle yeah, choice. They've got a great cult following, really good community, um, lots of people willing to help you out with, with bits and you know, really good meets. And um, yeah, it was, um, I got into surfing and skating and I've got two sons who um, are very much into both. And so they all go in very easily into the back. My eldest, George, who's six, he's, uh, he's very much into daddy's pimp van. So yeah, it's all good. What makes the van special to me is that I've bought it from scratch, um, being a beaten up builder's van and totally customised it from the colour to the bumpers, to the wheels, to the suspension, to the interior. And it, it feels just like, you know, a work of art that I've put together myself. So the list of modifications is, is fairly extensive. Um, starting from the ground up, it's been uh, adjustable coilover suspension uh, going into the wheels, uh, 17 inch banded steels, full VW respray in toffee brown. We've got some Audi TT Mark II seats up front and with a, a rock and roll bed in the back, full windows all the way round, and replacement bumpers, caravel bumpers with a private plate, and in a nutshell, pretty much it without going into too much detail. The spec stats for the van are a staggering 104 brake horsepower, T30 TDI model, 0 to 60 in about, off the top of my head, maybe 12, 13 seconds. <laughs> yeah, uh, the best story from the T5 is going to a music festival this year with a load of guys, and uh, we're all camping in it, uh, waking up in the morning, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's completely destroyed <laughs> from the inside. There's, there's mud everywhere, but it all goes part and parcel of owning a camper van. It's just uh, part of the fun of doing it. I think it is a lifestyle machine. Yeah, it, it, it really is. You know, it always turns heads wherever I go. And you, know, you can nip in it, you want to go down to, the, you know, down to the coast surfing, or you want to get a load of stuff in shopping, or your mates into a festival. It's, uh, it's just a really good all-rounder. A van or car? Uh, definitely van. <laughs>